And so, my first day of bulking deficit begins. I didn't know what I was going to talk about today, but I've got just the thing. I want to do this outside though. I want to talk about self-image for both muscle growth and fat loss. Our self-image is the way we see ourselves in our mind. It is what we consider true about ourselves and the world around us. Um, it includes all the beliefs that we have about ourselves. For example, when someone tells you that uh, they have trouble losing fat, I'm the kind of guy that doesn't, look, that doesn't lose fat easily. I'm the kind of guy that has difficulty gaining strength. Uh, something like that. I'm the kind of guy that is shy. Uh, what they actually do, they are sharing one of the beliefs they have about themselves. And those are part of the self-image. Modern psychology shows us that uh, our self-image controls our habitual behavior and it does so in a way that is similar to a cybernetic mechanism. Now you may be wondering what the hell is a cybernetic mechanism? Well, let me explain. Let me give you two examples. Probably the easiest example is the autopilot on a plane. Everybody can relate to that. When a plane takes off from its destination, let's say that this is New York City, and it's going to Rome, as soon as the plane reaches a certain altitude, the pilot sets a goal for the plane, which is Rome. And this is the route that he sets the autopilot to keep. Now, if on the way the plane is hit with some turbulence and is deviated from the course, what does it happen? The cybernetic mechanism, the autopilot on a plane, senses the deviation from the set goal and what does it do? It adjusts the engine and the flaps to get the plane back on course to Rome. Basically, the autopilot doesn't allow the plane to get different results than those set by the goal in the computer. And guess what? Your self-image is a cybernetic mechanism as well. Here's how it works. A good example of how your self-image affects your behavior, I uh, learned from, uh, from uh, a guy that was running a sales company. So this sales company noticed that the salespeople were selling the exact same amount each month. So if someone was used to selling $2,000 a month, this was their self-image. If in the first week they sold one and a half thousand dollars, guess what happened in the next three weeks? They stopped selling until they were back to their usual um, results, their self-image. But the opposite was true as well. If they were used to selling two thousand dollars a month and in their first three weeks something happened, they got sick, uh, there was a problem in the family, I don't know, and they sold only, let's say, $200, then guess what happened in the last week? They sold so much, they worked so hard, that at the end of the month, they still got $2,000. But the, the question to ask is, why don't people work like this all the time? It's because of their self-image. We don't see ourselves as the kind of people that do this. In the behavior of people, it's very easy to notice this uh, in terms of fat loss. People see themselves in their mind at a certain weight um, and a certain body fat level. And if they go on a diet, yes, they do lose some weight, but why do they regain it all back in a few months? It's because they don't change the image as well. In their mind, they, they see, see, see themselves as fat and they start justifying why they should have a cheat meal, why this diet sucks and they want to go back to their old habits. Um, basically, the self-image affects what we think our normal behavior is. Yes, the diet changes the weight, but it's the image that changes the diet. Because before a person goes on a diet, they imagine their, themselves as they want to be. They want to be leaner. They're, they see themselves in their mind leaner. And that's what gives them the inspiration and the power to change the diet and the decision. A lot of people have trouble with their self-image when it comes to gaining muscle. Let's say that this is the physique someone has at 75 kg, uh, I don't know, 160 pounds, let's say. Uh, 
they have a certain of uh, a certain level of muscle development and strength at this level well if they something happens and they gain some strength and some muscle and it's going great their self image if it doesn't uh, if it's not change it's gonna detect the deviation from the set goal and will correct the behavior until they go back to the normal course and how does this how does this happen it usually happens through the voice of reason someone uh, starts having all these thoughts that they should either go on a diet because they're getting fat uh, that they do they should change their routine because something is off that uh, it's okay to take a few days days off from the gym and uh, uh, all this stuff it's it affects their behavior and ultimately leads them to getting the same results all over and all over again there are a few cool studies that show this as well so this is science this is not something that i made up or i read in a book so uh in a study on powerlifters they took powerlifters and uh, divided them in, in two groups and uh, on one group uh, in uh, one of the groups uh, they they told the powerlifters that they were on a fast acting steroid something that is going to make them very strong stronger very fast uh, of course that was a placebo it was a, a sugar pill but because they thought that uh, they should be getting stronger they did and they gained a lot of strength and the other guys didn't but uh, here's the here's an interesting thing after a few weeks the researchers told uh, those guys that they weren't actually on steroids it was a placebo and the most amazing thing happened they lost all the strength that they gained why because in their minds they didn't expect themselves to be that strong naturally you may have noticed this yourself people rarely maintain better results than they are used to having now the million dollar question is how do you change your self-image so you naturally have good results you become the kind of person that has the results that you want you don't have to do those actions as a sort of discipline you just become that person well um, the guy I learned all this stuff from is called Bob Proctor and uh, I'm gonna link here one of his uh, videos where he explains all this in detail but I'm also going to share uh, the two ways you can change your self-image in short in this video the first one is an emotional event an emotional trauma that basically changes your life and this rarely happens we all know those people that had an accident and after that accident they realized that they need to, to change their lives and they did and they turned everything around or uh, someone in the family dies and that uh, gets to you so so much that you are not the same person again ever uh, but this emotional event or trauma um, isn't something that happens to the uh, average individual and uh, you can't wait for that moment to change your life so that leaves us with method number two which is repetition repetition all over again putting the images that you want in your mind so you become that kind of a person affirmations telling yourself all over again who you want to be and most importantly visualization you start to you you need to start seeing yourself as the kind of person you want to become because that's when the disciplines start to feel like your normal everyday behavior instead of something that you need to force yourself to do as i told you in other videos my biggest challenge in terms of fitness was always gaining muscle and strength it wasn't fat loss i'm actually uh i was actually naturally inclined to be good with fat loss because i was disciplined but gaining strength and muscle was a much bigger challenge and my biggest problem was actually my self-image because uh, I was not expecting myself to get stronger and more muscular I wasn't seeing myself in my mind uh, as the kind of person I wanted to become so how did I personally solve this issue well I got a goal card I'm not gonna show you what this is but it's basically a card where I wrote down what I want to achieve in my life and the person I want to become and I read this every every day when I get up and when I go to sleep and this starts to program my behavior because I know if a certain uh, thing I do during a day will take me closer to this goal or will take me further away from it and that way I can uh, I can choose I know what I need to do every day in terms of muscle growth here's what I did do you see that picture there that's very small I'm gonna put it 
on the screen right now a much larger picture that is a photoshopped picture of me actually <laughs> i added a few pounds of muscle to my frame why so i can see myself that way not the way i am right now and if i see that picture all over again and i repeat myself how, how i want to become guess what it's gonna happen i'm gonna ask you what is your self-image how do you see yourself every day in your mind how do you see yourself in six months do you see yourself with a different kind of body or do you see yourself looking the same way wearing the same clothes eating the same thing going to the same places uh, looking the same at the at the beach or at the pool this can show you where your self image is programmed if you don't expect to have better results in six months 12 months i don't know two years then you're not gonna have them because you won't be doing the activities that will take you there now guys I really hope that you found, you found that information useful because it's probably the most important lesson I've ever learned and uh, you know I wanted to include more stuff in this episode but that took a lot of time I'm now heading to, to the gym I'm gonna get a workout in and uh, this concludes today's episode but tomorrow we go back to our normal schedule oh and uh, something very important don't forget to check out Bob's video. I'm gonna link it here. Don't forget about that. All right, see you later.